Can I ask you guys real quick, re-click the like. It's a new stream. You gotta re-hit the like. Is that cool? Okay. Now I can lower the music. Yeah. Welcome back after a break. Part three, re-click the like, if you will. Hello. We have new people joining. Wow, wow, wee wow. Thanks for, for coming. Trent, yo, what's up, buddy? Uh, Columns reviews, members in the chat, big shouts and hypes. Sweet views. I know, I like this track actually. Thank you guys so much for joining. I did have my lunch break, kind of like I ate something, stretched a bit, water, hydrated, all that stuff. Trent is here, Demure, uh, Bob builds before the break, Johnny G. Outsider is back, Brick Star Wars boy never left, really. <laughs> Xaragath, uh, yeah. And we're back. I, I, had the, I had the audacity to open bag 11 just before the stream, just to see how many pieces we have. So we're on bag 11. We have six bags left. I think we can finish this guy today. We'll see. We shall find out. But this is wh whoever is joining for the first time. Uh, this is where we are right now. The Hubble telescope is finished in... This is actually the first thing you build. By the way, so this is finished. Uh, we also built the, both of the stands. That's the shuttle stand. This one is cool. That's the uh, plaque and the second plaque. So basically two sets in one, as many people really noticed. And yeah, so far we finished the, the main lower portion of the shuttle with the wings and everything. Uh, what else for lunch? Uh, leftovers. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, we had a really good like Kind of like a, uh, what was it? It was like a like a pork um, pork goulash with cheese and mushrooms. It's like a something you just cook in one dish. My wife loves to make it. It's really good. So it's like a goulash with uh, potatoes uh, on the side and some veggies. Yeah. So like a full dinner almost. You need to live stream the food. Uh, uh, personally, I don't like when people eat on stream, <laughs> actually. Uh, I don't understand all those like streamers like doing those crazy feasts on streaming. Um, mm, mm. Sometimes I would uh, I would eat, eat a pizza on a stream or something, but uh, I don't like like eating lunch through a stream. Kind of weird. Nah. I like to enjoy my food and not talk to everyone around me while eating. It's kind of weird and gross. But yeah, sometimes we, we do have pizza on streams, things like that. Bag 11. Goulash is also Polish, actually. We have Polish goulash. Uh, different type. Gula, the Hungarian goulash is more like uh, like based on, on, on pepper, paprika. <laughs> hey, the Muir. Wow. Bamber. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for joining. Big hype for you. What a... Surprise! Yeah, cool. Cool. Thank you, man. Big, big claps for you. Oh, there's a coin too. All right. There we go. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I do appreciate it. Remember, I'm a 27, I believe. Goulash is a zoo? Not really. So in different countries, it's called differently. So, so a goulash would be probably more like a zoo in Hungary, but in Poland, it's more like a... Okay, maybe I, I should... It's funny because in Polish you would say goulash, what technically is a stew. Uh, that's that's my confusion. That's where the confusion comes from. We say goulash in Poland, but technically speaking, the type of food is a stew. Uh, but Polish person would say goulash still. So that's why I I confused you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, kinds for you. Appreciate the support. Thank you for uh, for becoming a member. Uh, this is the sponsored stream. <laughs> $2.99, that's a cup of coffee per month, and you can support my work. Appreciate it. So I can make more streams, more stuff, enjoy uh, hanging out with you guys and all this stuff. So yeah. Are we restarting the food factor? Perhaps. Are we restarting the food factor? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, food talks are good, but I mean, I can talk food. I'm, I'm, I'm already ate, so I'm good. I'm not hungry for the next few hours. We're good. All right, we got bug 11 and here is the the fun fact again. Boom, boom, boom. All those fun facts from Lego. This is fun. Did you know 
Uh, as regulations require the stars that the stars always face forwards as if the flag is trailing in the wind, the American flag on the starboard of the shuttle side of Discovery fuselage flies backwards. So the print, uh, the, the actual flag has to be had to be modified to to accommodate for that. See? So this is the correct flag. This is the mirrored flag modified just because of that. Because the stars have also always have to wait for, uh, forward. So the pole for the American flag is always on this side, right? So that's, that's interesting actually, if you think about it. Fun fact hype, yes. Fun fact hype. I mean, I like those fun facts. I think that's the most fun facts I've seen in a Lego set like ever. Uh, really cool, like bringing all those little things. And. Uh, what? <laughs> that was loud. Can't wow, stay trend. long but wanted to get some hype going. Hope you are well and as always, just keep building. I gotta change that sound, man. I gotta change that sound. It's gonna make me deaf. Oh my god. I'm sorry if I shouted too loud. I hope the mic didn't clip, but man, that was loud. <laughs> I gotta change it. I'm so sorry, you guys. Uh, but it, it's a it's a big hype. 50 bucks from Trent, dude. You just show up and drop a 50 like that. I mean, I love you, man. It always takes me off guard. Thank you. I can't stay long, but wanted to get some hype going. Hope you are well as always. I'm, I'm well, Trent. Dude, first shot uh, on Monday. So I, I got Moderna on Monday. Trent, uh, again, you guys know him. He's a regular on the channel. Medical worker, works in COVID testing. Great guy. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to report that I got, you know, I, I don't think he knows, but I, I got the first Moderna shot on Monday and then my next shot is four weeks from now. So I'm happy. Uh, I just wanted to share this with Trent because I know he works in the field and and I was expressing that I really want to get vaccinated at some point and it it's happening. It's it's great. It feels great. I feel safer and feel like, you know, all this stuff. So thank you, Trent, for the 50. Wow. That's a lot of money as always from, from this dude. He's like, he's, he supports me so much. I, I, I don't even know what to say. That's that's amazing. Hype, hype, hype. Big hype. I, I should have some sounds just for Trent. Like, I don't know. Like... It's like I can I can play No, I can I want to play them five times like There you go. Awesome. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So yeah, great dude. Um at this point he should be making content. I I would get all you guys to subscribe to him right away. Great dude. Donation King, I, I I think so. I actually think that Trent is 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 really amazing when it comes to like overall support, and nothing comes close. So this guy is just the absolute goat when it comes to to running the lights around here <laughs> and, and and making uh, those those streams and those builds possible for you guys. How many streams? Uh, Mr. Welcome. Uh, I think that might be the last one. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure how much time I have left today. We have about six bags left. Um, I think three streams is all. This is the third stream. Uh, we did the second one today earlier. Um, and. Wait, what did I do? And. Um, maybe, like, if we need a fourth stream by any means, like maybe if I have to take a break or again or something later, if it gets too long. Probably we're, I'm gonna do another one in the evening, today. Actually, like three streams a day, which is like a, technically a one large stream. Because I just wanna finish this set and maybe work on a review for the weekend or something. Um, yeah, I want to get this set, but my parents aren't letting me. I'm so sorry to hear that. Man, maybe for Christmas or something? Show some progress at school, you know, do them some cool things and let them know. <laughs> I, I've been there, everybody's been there. When you don't earn your own money and budget your own Lego, you like, you rely on your parents. I, 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 I understand, I've been there, everybody's been there, I get it. 
uh, you're gonna feel so amazing when you're gonna be able to get your own money and spend it on Lego. That's that's something I was when I when you become adult and you start making money, uh, earning a living, and that, that feeling that you can just go. Not not always because like I'm not rich or anything, but when I can afford something, it feels great. <laughs> when I can go to a Lego store and they said I want it, I can just buy and not stress about paying for it. It's, you know, you know that feeling adults, a false, right? You know that feeling. Um, you, you grow, you just start earning money and now you can afford things and you know, it's, it's, it's a great feeling. So all you youngers, youngsters out there uh, complaining right now, that feeling is amazing when you get to it, so. How much does this set cost? $200. It's a $199.99 set. It's kind of like at the usual price point for those big models lately. Most UCS stuff is around that 200 uh, mark, I think. Uh, yeah, most UCS stuff, for sure. It's like a $200 set will get you quite a set right now I have four thousand dollars and I bought one thing in my life they won't let me get it <laughs> I mean is that is that a fund for your education or is that your own money or like I'm not I don't want to like dwell into like family like decisions or, or anything but yeah I, I can like when I was younger I was given allowance by parents, but I also wasn't able to spend it because they were kind of saving it for me. And I was allowed to be responsible around it. And when I really wanted something, I would explain why I want it and I want to spend those money and all this stuff. But that, that allowance was mostly for savings. So my parents were like also restrictive, but you know, if, if something I really wanted, like when I paid for my first car before I was even like working, before I was 18, uh, I, I got a deal with my dad how to buy a car and like I was using my own allowance saved money to like put a down payment and then he will help me with the rest for example so sometimes sometimes it's not bad that your parents want to save money for you you know don't, don't feel bad about it niedługo mamy lecieć na księżyc i na Marsa przerażające jest to ile czeka nas w niedalekiej przyszłości zestawów tylko kosmicznych skąd wróć na to kas przede wszystkim miejsce uh, thanks, that's a Polish comment. Uh, Galactic Klotzki says that we are soon to be uh, flying to, to Moon, Crew Moon, actually, and, and Mars through SpaceX, for example. It's, it's terrifying uh, how many LEGO cosmic or space sets will be happening soon, right? When can you get all the money for this? And most importantly, the space for displaying them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, good. The good thing is I think SpaceX is not willing, like Elon Musk is not willing to share a license with LEGO to make space sets up based on SpaceX. And given the fact that SpaceX is the like most disruptive, most innovative company and also working with NASA closely uh, in the space industry, uh, that means we probably won't get SpaceX sets soon because of restrictions. But the cool thing about this, like I'm not sure if you guys, that was the beginning of the stream, but the beginning of the manual, there is a shot that's a Falcon 9 rocket with a Dragon capsule on it. This is the first time I've seen a LEGO acknowledging a SpaceX rocket in a LEGO set. This is like because it's a history of human spaceflight and right now we're in the era that this is the comeback after the space shuttles. Like space shuttles were the last uh, crewed flights of American uh, astronauts. And now we have the crewed uh, flights with uh, through SpaceX. So this is like a big that was SpaceX ended that big gap of uh, of of America not flying to space in crewed flights. I mean, okay, we had astronauts flying through Russian rockets to the ISS, but that that means there was no space, no American spacecraft with crews were was launching from the U.S. soil. So that's that that's where the difference is. Um, and SpaceX ended that with the Crew Dragon, the Dragon Dragon Crew uh, capsule. That's pretty cool. So maybe because of that we may see actual SpaceX sets because a lot of these projects are now uh, in collaboration with NASA, right? And NASA 
is partnered with LEGO. So maybe they will push the needle to actually make it happen. Who knows? As far as I know, that the reason because the reason of all those ideas projects getting rejected uh, by LEGO is because SpaceX did not allow it, allow them. Siemka, witaj. Yeah. Yeah, hit the like. You gotta hit the like, guys. This is a new stream. Anybody that hit the like in the past one, you can use the same button, tap, whatever it is, to like this one. SpaceX with less funding and time launch astronauts before paying. I, <laughs> I know. Joke of the history, right? All that money pouring for the SLS system and the Starliner uh, capsule and then the first... Uh, wasn't that the first Starliner flight from Boeing was actually unsuccessful? They, ne they actually never reached orbit? Because something somebody messed up with the timings of, or something? And yet SpaceX is like launching and landing rockets at the same time with half the money or less and much less time? <laughs> Isn't that funny? And it was SpaceX who, who got the history by, by coming back with the space program for a cruise in the US. And they, uh, there is a, another one is the another like ISS mission, but they also have the uh, Inspiration4 mission. Wasn't isn't that called? So people from anybody from ever like across the world can submit their application to fly to space on Falcon 9. I think they're uh, they're accepting applications. And there's the Dear Moon project. Uh, people who will fly also, right? Like uh, civilians. Crazy stuff, if you think about it. Something that wasn't even possible, you know, a few years ago. And now we're like, you apply to Dear Moon? <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So did you apply like a video or, or like, how, how does it work? Uh, wow, people joining. Crazy, creativity, welcome. Um, just trying to catch up, you guys. Thank you so much. Do you love Lego? I think, Daniel, you're asking me so many times. Yes, I love Lego. Yes, I wouldn't have a full-on home Lego office and making videos for you if I didn't love Lego. <laughs> Come on. Uh, yes. I could be investing this money and I'm spending them on plastic bricks. How much other uh, uh, proof do you need? <laughs> I mean, technically, like buying Lego is kind of investing because a lot of these sets become collectible afterwards. But anyway, Lego rocks and <laughs> yeah, have to go. Bye. Thanks for coming, dude. SpaceX actually had more funding than Boeing. They tied it in their unmanned to their manned mortal funding. Oh, interesting. But isn't like the program efficiency much worse for the SLS? Like they actually burning more money than having results. Isn't that true for their program? Like SpaceX with the similar funding or you know, more or less, whatever it is. Boeing like burned a lot of money. While SpaceX main like, well, made re reusable rockets and flew to space with people, so. I see, the, the bank uh, crew program got more money. Yeah, like SpaceX is uh, subsidizing probably with their like uh, commercial launches for satellites. Their Falcon 9 workhorse is, is, is getting them a lot of money because the rocket is relatively cheap to use. Um, and well, that's where the funding comes from a, a lot of the times, like SpaceX being successful in the commercial scene of launches with their cost effective rockets. I uploaded the video a few days ago, Pri private for now. If I made round four, ooh, so you made already three rounds? Dude, that's awesome. Welcome, Nathan. How you doing, man? Lego t Titanic, hot or not? Do we know anything about it yet? Uh, I think it will be a cool model, giant, obviously. I think it's going to be a giant model. But do we know anything about at this point? Any anything solid? 
Do we? I, I don't even know. I have no idea, you guys. Lego Titanic be rather cold. That's the weird part about this, you know? Cause they, they... Rumors had it that it's gonna be a Columbia shuttle. It's Discovery because, no, uh, they decided because Columbia was a disaster. Uh, and, and same goes for Titanic, it was like a catastrophe, right? And yet it's a, it's a big piece of history, so... I don't know, like, I know it's a tragic event, but also one of the most impressive ships made to date. Um, with a tragic ending. So, you know, good question, I don't know. I don't know, really. Hey, the Octobers. Hey, no worries, Daniel. Like, yeah, you're good. You are correct. SLS is burning through the funds. SpaceX is better, way better. I think SpaceX is just using the money to actually get some progress going. And I don't know, like, I don't know why it's the case, but is uh, SLS already seems outdated. Um, and the research behind this project, like, seems, like, way behind. It's kind of weird, like, because they, they're developing a whole new launch system, and I think with the same money, uh, SpaceX just achieved more in the same time frame. Um, I don't know, it's just like maybe the corporate culture of Bank like, isn't working for that project, while SpaceX is just... You know how SpaceX operates, right? Like, I don't know, like, SN11 blew up a few days ago, and Elon was like... It was like... NASA would be, oh, we have investigation teams doing that. We'll see you back in next year with results. And Elon just like takes a pickup truck, uh, a cyber truck, whatever, drives to the, to, the, to the explosion site, looks at the scrap and like, this is just a scratch. We're gonna make a new one in the next week and launch it again and again and again. So I think that the, the approach is vastly different. Like SpaceX is a private company. They do have to like approach regulations with the FAA and uh, government and all this stuff. But ultimately, all the decisions there are like, whoa, it blew up. Cool, let's make a new one. Whereas NASA is a fully controlled government entity that has much more bureaucratic, time consuming procedures after anything happens to them. SpaceX blows up stuff. As long as there are no people on it, we're good. Make a new one, right? It's just a scratch. And they can like, they have the money to kind of laugh about it, but also they have the money to innovate all the time. So this is an interesting approach. I think that's where the progress is coming from. No bullcrap like bureaucracy. You know. It's like their approach is like, blew up? Cool, let's make a new one. <laughs> it's basically that's, that's what's, what's happening. Or like, actually like it blows up and the new one is already ready in the hangar bay to be launched. You know? Yeah, look at look at the progress. Three hopper flights, SN5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, in the, in the how, like, <clears throat> look at the short time frame. It's like under two years. That's less better short term. Starship is maybe 10 years away. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be interesting decade for sure. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really like following all the developments in that like uh, genre of space travel like closely and it's, it's just fascinating the times we're living in and what we're gonna probably witness very soon which part of jurassic part is your favorite uh the og og like the when you first see those the the, the first one with the t-rex the and like when they first like i was a kid when i was watching this and this still blew my mind when i watched it like few just like one year or two ago I think the first Jurassic part is amazing. Like that's like the, the ultimate movie. It's like it, 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 it's 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 defying all the age. It's it's not even getting older. It's like Star Wars. You can watch it forever. It's like you you watch New Hope today and it still blows your mind how amazing it is. And and same for Jurassic Park. You just watch it again and again. And it's like wow, a movie from the '90s still being awesome. By the way, interior, kind of, yeah, stuff is, stuff is getting good.
Starship, Starship blows up less than a week later early tests against SLS blows up and we hear nothing exactly that's what I'm saying so the SN11 blew up and they said like okay we're skipping until SN15 and the like today like what day is today I don't know like a week week after uh, the SN15 is basically staying in the high bay at SpaceX Boca Chica like they're get, they're actually like strapping engines to it as we speak <laughs> it's like we're gonna probably see a next flight in April or something. Like it's insane. Like the the pace. It's 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 insane. It's actually insane. It's like it's almost like they're doing crash tests for cars. You know, like when when they like rate cars for for safety, they just like you know crash a bunch of cars and get results in like a month. <laughs> Same. It's like it's becoming prevalent in in how SpaceX is doing things. Like, yeah, let's blow up a few rockets, and see where we are with the progress. <laughs> rinse and repeat. Blow up, rinse and repeat until you get it right. Yeah, the mentality is completely different because they're not like they're not tied up to all those like '60s era NASA, you know, Gemini Apollo program regulations. NASA. I don't think NASA innovated since the. Honestly, I don't think NASA innovated since the Space Shuttle program. Like, Space Shuttle was already like a 30-year-old program and design and technology. And, and I don't think with the SLS, or after all that time, 20 years since the last shuttle flew. I don't think they innovated, whereas SpaceX basically is a significantly younger company. And yet, what they achieved in that time frame is insane. I mean, can you, can you think of a... Reusable, I think uh, uh, space shuttle boosters were reusable, but can you, could you ever think in the 90s that so, a private company will make a, 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 a workhorse reusable rocket that can land and only lose the second stage, whereas the first stage is reusable, even though like it was like something that nobody was even thinking about, whereas, you know, right now they SpaceX uh, became a thing and they made it happen basically they like yeah we're gonna reuse rockets and everybody's like cool and now you just like tune into youtube and like oh there's a falcon 9 launch like every two weeks or something starling you know and it's like so normal it's like yeah i'm gonna brew some coffee and watch a, a rocket launch in the morning on youtube live and i'm gonna watch the same rocket land the same like 20 minutes later for me, this still blows my mind. It's it's like people moved on. It's like yeah, it's normal. It's like every day. It's like it's it's it's, it's very common right now. Are you freaking kidding me? It's some sci-fi tech to me still. It's not normal. <laughs> it's not normal. I think it's insane. Anyway, that's a cool talk actually. Like if you. If you're into this stuff, like I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely fascinated by, by all those things. <clears throat> also, remember, uh, Bank does not have their name on everything they produce. Delta launch system by Ule is owned by NASA. True, true that. I mean that that that's true. Uh, ULA is basically United Launch Alliance, which is a, a, a conglomerate of companies. Bank and then what? Northrop Grumman? Uh, or Lockheed? Which one is it? Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a collaborative project, uh, basically contracted by NASA. That's what it is. They teamed up to compete with SpaceX, actually. Um, okay, wow. Things are... Things are looking good here, you guys. Let's see, that's the vertical. Wow, okay. Cool angling, I mean, I love this assembly, what? Oh, wow, so the way they, that's so cool. So the way they achieved the specific angles here. So like, if you look, you know, the engines are canted on purpose. That's how they were on the real shuttle. And then, yeah, hold on. I think my, hold on. I got to check something. I might need to take a break. Um, yeah, look at the angles. 
the vertical stabilizer, all this stuff. Yeah. Uh, I need to check. Some, I think I think some, the the kids are fighting or something. I'll be right back. Uh, give me give me one minute. Okay. <laughs> Could you imagine a private company making a rocket? No, that was like super crazy concept. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Uh, I should be back in a sec. No, because the uh, my kids are having like a Zoom call with friend, and and I think they were like fighting for a toy or something, and I had to like, hey, chill, <laughs> all good, all good, all good. Uh, research and development uh, is much more progressive. Yes, it is. It's just a new way of doing things. Uh, oh, we finished the bag. Wow, that was that was perfect. <laughs> that was quick. Welcome back. Welcome back. Sorry about the break. Um, it's just like the way they're thinking, you know, it's... It's like, okay, so you can compare SpaceX to to NASA and, and like the old style of doing space travel, right? With all the like, everything is like government controlled and now private companies are disrupting the sector, right? It's the same you can say about Tesla, uh, not like apart from how they car how their cars are good or not whatever it is but there is a reason you have like tesla and legacy automakers it's like uh you know automakers that were making classic cars like, like not classic like long-standing normal cars with the kind of outdated dealership system in the age when you can buy an iphone just by going to the store when you buy a car you go through this like stupid hops and bumps and cheesy salesmen trying to there is no like sticker price you gotta negotiate all that bull crap and yet you go to a tesla website you click and your car gets to your home like in a week so there it's called disruption uh like changing the way things should be from the lobby of holding things traditionally for their own benefit not for the customer benefit it's like imagine if you had to go like to an apple store and like negotiate like hmm, i want this iphone maybe you would like to extra like, like like let's talk about the price like that's bullcrap it's like I, I i don't think i will ever buy like a car through dealership ever again it's such a stupid process you should just like click the car online go to the dealership and pick up the keys with like your known price and whatever it should be like add to cart buy go for it but they lobby for all these stupid like dealership programs and what i'm saying is like legacy automakers against tesla i've been driving the volkswagen id4 yesterday a test drive new electric volkswagen and they tried to tell me like look it's a it's like it's gonna sell better than the model y it's like really cool let me drive it and you know and i drove it and i like it but look at the interior it's like looks like a traditional car with like a, a electric model slap to it and yet you drive a tesla it's like so different and if I ask, so how, how, how do I buy this Volkswagen ID4? Oh, well, our dealerships, we have a few for sale and you have to like, you, you go there and you buy like a normal car. Like that's stupid. If you want to innovate, make it like a Tesla. Click your Tesla, uh, 
decide if you wanna pick up at the at the showroom or you wanna pick up or you wanna get it delivered to your home, pay with your account, wire transfer, whatever it is, done. Contract, electronic, signature, your the car is yours. No, no hops and bumps. And Volkswagen makes a new car and they like, oh well, yeah, you gotta go to the dealer, you gotta like negotiate, all that. Why? You make a new thing, just make it innovative. Like don't follow all the stupid um, thing that, that the lobby is, is trying to tell you it's good. It's not, like honestly. So it's an interesting conversation for sure. And that's the disruptiveness of companies, I think it's where, where the future is going. So all the legacy companies following the old types of business or innovation or non-innovation for that matter, will soon feel the effects of being like kind of canceled out, you know? Because people will just be tired of all that stuff uh, that, that doesn't work anymore. I think that's what's gonna happen. And maybe I would be more interested in that Volkswagen against the Tesla if I was able to like, can I click it on your website? Can I get it ordered to my house? Can I can I pay online and just like don't see any salesman in the in the in, in between? No, it's through the dealership. Like, then see ya. I mean, I'm just gonna still buy a Tesla. See ya. You know, and and, and they 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 basically lost a customer because I don't want to deal with all this stuff anymore. As I because I know. A company like Tesla sells cars like iPhones and it's just so much easier. And I know the price up, uh, up front and I can do everything without even standing, without even going to a Tesla showroom, you know? For example, like, and I'm not saying I, I you know, have to buy a Tesla. I think like every automaker should just skip that, that dealership system and do it this, this way. But it's not gonna happen because there is a lobby in the US preventing that from happening. This is the big problem. It's basically a, a full-fledged like lobby mafia trying to keep the dealerships afloat and the whole old system intact. That's what's happening. So that's like, if, even though the Volkswagen is a, possibly a cool car and slightly cheaper than a Tesla and it's a V and my next car will be a v, EV because I, I like the technology so much, I don't buy a Volkswagen because I don't want to go to a dealership and buy a car again that way, for example. Aloha, two live streams in one day. Yeah, we are, it's technically like a one long live stream, but with a break in the middle. And I, I don't see the reason why cars are still not like normal consumer goods. Why is a car not considered like a normal iPhone or a laptop? Or why is this like it's so special for some reason? Because what, it's expensive? That's not a good explanation. You can buy a 20... You can buy a $30,000 iMac, you can, you can buy a $30,000 Mac computer online through Apple, so the price does not matter. You can buy a $50,000 RED camera online and get it delivered. Why is the car such a special treatment? That, that is not working for the consumer anyway, right? And Tesla shows that it's possible to just sell them like iPhones. So the price is not the case here. For some reason we treat the cars like if they were like, I don't know, like real estate or some stuff. It's just, it's, it's stupid. I think it's stupid. Uh, what am I looking for? Another one of these. Yeah, I'm gonna be here for, for a few moments. Let's see how far we can stream today. Thank you so much for the super chats, you guys. I mean, I'm still like, I see them in my, on my feed. I'm like, what is happening? I, I, I appreciate the support. I don't think I deserve this, but I appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are crazy. And the memberships and everything. Love you. Love it. Love it. Hey, Classic Bricks. Silver stickers are back 13. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I'm building the, the assembly for <laughs> for the bay door. I'm, I may just turn off the cameras for, for back 13. How about that? I think they've made it back 13 for on a, on a, on a purpose. It's the unlucky bag, you know? I 
I think they knew what they're doing. How many of you already finished the shuttle? I know you guys were building with me yesterday. You guys finish? No, my nose is like itchy. Ah, itchy, itchy nose. Oh, wow. Cool, I mean, it's growing. That's nice. Finish this morning? Are you... Are you blindly, like, completely frozen staring at it in, in awe and impression of being really amazed by it? Are you just, like, drooling over it? Like, oh, it's so good. I mean, I, I think I'm gonna just do it for the next two days when I finish. I'm gonna have this, like, Homer Simpson expression, like, oh. I'm gonna look at this like he's looking at a donut. It's so beautiful. And I'm gonna have like a drool like dripping on ah. <laughs> Yep. I mean you can tell that about most Lego models lately. They are just pretty. I remember I had the blacksmith shop on my desk <clears throat> when I was filming the review and before I got another set I was before I put it on the shelf I was it was my desk and every day I would like spend I kid you not like a few minutes before I even started working or anything just by looking at this set just like looking at it like rotating like mm, this is nice you know and yeah like sets like nowadays the sets are just like you can just look at them all the time absolutely <laughs> not opened it yet Oh, you're in for a treat. Uh, my bricks and me just finished the shuttle. I'm putting the shelves together and I will have a home. It will have a home, nice. Uh, any specific shelves you got? Ikea or anything? Dudes, dudettes. Uh, Ikea in the US is insanely out of stock right now. Oh my God. I have a shelf from Ikea I really want. And I've been trying to like snag it like anyway like uh, like any anywhere like online in the store it's been out of stock for weeks like i don't know like suez canal stuff what's going on they just freed the suez canal maybe they're like half of those chips were ikea or something i don't know what's going on the stock in ikea is like the store looks empty we've been to ikea like what a few weeks ago to pick up some uh, chairs for my kids uh, oh, uh, we're buying we're buying a mattress, a mattress because my kid got a, got a new bed. One of the kids. Um, ooh, prints. Oh, interesting. New prints, more prints. And we're shopping mattress. So they had mattresses. Uh, they have good kid one mattresses for the price actually. But I I tried to get like a, like a shelf and nope. Anything related to, even remotely to like home office um anything that that makes you like helps you work for like desks uh, drawers uh shelves gone like com like all the like tags in the showroom like out of stock out of stock out of stock you go to the warehouse in san diego and it's just like it's like a, a wind howling in the warehouse like tumbleweeds rolling you know it's like so empty it's kind of like ikea was always the place to go for furniture but man their stuff is like super empty right now. All right, so we have some some cool prints here. Oh. Trying like, if I move my hand here, okay. So this is good. Yeah. Just like a one by ones with some pattern to it. Interesting, we're gonna be do two, doing two of these. Oh, meatballs every time. Uh, yes, every time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I not only buy the fresh ones from the restaurant because right the, I mean the restaurant is open in COVID but it's only takeout so you you have to like like eat in your car or something or just take home but I take the the, the, the fresh ones from the restaurant and they have like really good cakes too oh my god <laughs> and I always take a, like a frozen bag and I keep a, a bag of frozen ones at all times for like a quick dinner <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. They're so good. 
It's it's like I, I think like IKEA honestly is like a, a restaurant that happens to have like a furniture store around it. That's that's how it works, actually. IKEA trip is mostly for the for the meatballs. Let's be honest, and for like a one dollar hot dog and ice cream. Oh yeah, the cakes are amazing. They have good stuff. Like I like their food. I usually go there and my wife's like, let's go for the furniture. I was like, where are the meatballs? <laughs> where are the meatballs? Can I get a hot dog real quick? <laughs> Always, every time. I don't have IKEA by me. Yeah, I mean, what I can tell you is like, I kind of like, I'm starting to dislike the meatballs slightly because I eat them so much. I think it's just becoming, I, I'm fatigued of the, the, their taste. <laughs> So I, I, I used to love them. I, I just like them right now. So it's okay. It's not, not, not like something you're truly missing out on. They're good, but... The meatballs. Yes, everybody like... It's like the universal language. Meatballs from Ikea. Everybody loves them. It's like a Big Mac, you know? It's like everybody loves a Big Mac. Have you ever met someone who doesn't like a Big Mac from McDonald's? I know McDonald's is not the best fast food, and especially like in California, McDonald's is like the lower tier. You have so many good fast foods like Chick-fil-A or In-N-Out. But a Big Mac is still good, you know? A Big Mac is still good, and everybody likes a Big Mac sometimes. Do you, do you guys know anyone that doesn't like a Big Mac? You, say all what you want about McDonald's, but Big Macs are pretty tasty. They're terrible for you, but they're tasty. Did you know? Hey, another trivia. Look at that. It's so funny, like you're building and you're finding those little bits of information. Anyway, uh, the mid deck of the orbiter is where much of the crew's equipment is stored. It's there. It's here the astronauts uh, change uh, change into their spacesuits before exiting the airlock and floating into the payload bay. Yes, because uh, the payload bay is not pressurized. This is, this is like, once you're in space, this is vacuum. It's not pressurized, it's for cargo only. Only this section of the shuttle is pressurized. And it has an airlock. This is the airlock, I think. Uh, is, I'm not sure, but I think this is the... Uh, yeah, that's the airlock right here. So that's how they get to the cargo bay if they need to do something in the vacuum of space. You get it, Mike. <laughs> uh, MNR never had a hamburger. Really? Maybe he, he maybe he's a, is he a vegetarian? Maybe he doesn't eat meat? Or, I don't know. Or, I mean, if you are a meat eater and you don't like hamburgers, have you ever tried a good hamburger? I mean, a lot of fast food burgers are just not good. But have you ever tried a good one? Like a proper burger. But maybe, we don't know, maybe he's vegetarian. I don't know. Not a big fast food fan. Can remember the last time I went to McDonald's? You know what? I'm not a big fast food fan too, but like from time to time, I just like the taste of a Big Mac. I don't know. But yeah, my, my go-to burger place is always in and out in California. It's just so good. Tasty. Sometimes five guys, but five guys are too expensive in my opinion. A Five Guys is like a fancy burger, like a fancy fast food. It's so expensive too. I like this music, fits the shuttle very nicely actually. Like spacey music. Lurkin. They have the creamy lemon and dime sauce mix at Ikea. I think I know which one I'm talking about. I think I tried it, but I don't think I liked it. My wife is buying the gravy they have in Ikea for the meatballs. It's also pretty good, like same as they serve in the restaurant. Sometimes we just do like an Ikea dinner, honestly, like when there's like, we're tired or something like, okay, what's for dinner? Okay, we got meatballs, the gravy, the lingonberry sauce or jam, which you can also buy in Ikea, some uh, bean sprouts and, and the potatoes. And that's Ikea, Ikea dinner, <laughs> Swedish dinner, <laughs> Swedish dinner, pretty much the quickest quick quick dinner mm. 
Self-made burgers? Yeah, if you know how to make burgers, you can make really good burgers at home. Think about buying all the LEGO space, city space sets. That's a lot of sets. Red Robin has, yeah, decent burgers, but I would say for the price, still In-N-Out is like the way to go, in California at least. Wall burgers? I don't think we have those in California, no. Maybe, I never tried it. There's a Smash Burger too, uh, Five Guys, In-N-Out, Wendy's, whatever. Uh, and some locals too, local eateries. Yeah, Red Robin, I had a Red Robin uh, in the same mall I used to work at the Lego store. So I, I had a few burgers here and there from them. They're okay. Nothing too special, but pretty good. Big Macs are like good maybe once a year though. I don't think I've had one in the last 10 years. Homemade bur burgers over barbecue are always the best. That's true, like, if you know how to make a burger and you have a, access to a good barbecue, oh yeah, that's gonna be always the best. You like, do you marinate your meat? Or, I sometimes I do like, like you know, good good beef with a little bit of a Worcestershire uh, sauce, some salt, pepper, and that's it. But you have to have good good beef, like good Angus beef. Like freshly, you know, minced. You're veg vegetarian? Yeah. So we're talking burgers and we have vegetarians in the chat. So maybe let's not talk burgers too much. But yeah, I'm surprised I, mean, I never had a burger. How could one acquire those fancy wooden piece holders? So again, these are coming from uh, Ross. This is a store, it's a US store, and I got them on discount, and they're made by Woodard and Charles. So it was just a random purchase from a home decor. They have like, Ross has home decor and clothing, and they're in the US, and I found them in some like discount home decor section. Uh, Woodard, this is the correct shot. No, no, this is the correct shot, sorry. Uh, no, wait, no, this is. Okay, so this, this is, yeah. Uh, Woodard Charles, that's the woodworking company that makes them. You can maybe find them online or something, maybe. Woodard Charles and Charles. Uh, and they're like good Filipino wood again, I love these. Random buy, like I found them in a random home decor store and I love them, I got them right away. And I love them ever since. But if you want something similar, uh, search Japanese bamboo trays on Amazon. It's what Jung's using. I got inspired by him to get these actually. Meatballs with spaghetti. Are we doing the food talk again? <laughs> What's up with the food talk every time? You guys seem to like food. We're humans, am I right? Do I live in the US? Uh, yeah, I'm in California. SoCal, yes. You're Hawaii, right? I miss Hawaii so much. I've been there only once, but I wanna, I wanna go, I wanna go every year. I don't necessarily wanna live in Hawaii because I think you get that island isolation or fatigue. Plus, you guys have a lot of bugs and dangerous things and creepy creatures. So I don't want that. But vacation in Hawaii? Mwah. We have enough spiders in California that I'm afraid of, so... Black widows, brown widows... But Hawaii? You guys have some creepy stuff. And not only on land, around the volcanoes, but also in the water, things can kill you. <laughs> but yeah, I, Hawaii is a place, I love it. I wanna go back for my next vacation, when we can finally go for vacation. Hello, welcome back, Kimi, Kiwi my boy. Spaghetti, yeah, good spaghetti, it's good. No seasonings, just salt, pepper, yeah. I just like this, the taste of uh, Worcestershire sauce for some reason in burgers, I just like it. 
like the OG, uh, not any copies, just the OG Worcestershire. Because you know what, the Worcestershire sauce, they only make the real one in one place in the world in the UK. And they export it like globally. That's the OG one. There's one company making it, everything else is a copy. Yeah, it's nice to chat, obviously. I like to chat too. Wow, the amount of details I'm adding right now, it's kind of insane, don't you guys think? Yeah, Ar Arman, welcome by the way, didn't see you there. Deadly Pigeons what? Has anyone seen the new Looney Tunes leaks? The whole series leaked. Uh, yeah. And all I'm gonna say, I may or may not have seen much more than that. I'm just gonna wink. I'm just gonna wink. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna wink and let you guys figure it out. Hawaii or Australia would be awesome to live through. I don't think I could handle just the heat. Uh, yeah, I mean Hawaii is, has I, I've been to Hawaii in like late spring and the weather was amazing. It's few, uh, there's a lot of rain though, especially if you're on a big island. Uh, it's a, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a rainforest for a reason. But Oahu, beautiful weather, like kind of tropical, but not too crazy. Yeah, uh, I've been, so I've been two weeks and I stayed one week in Oahu, in Honolulu. And I stayed one week uh, on the big island, east east side, in the jungle. We had like an Airbnb, best Airbnb ever. We had like a, like a house, beautiful house, for very cheap actually, in the jungle, like 50 feet away from the east coast ocean on, Blue, on, on big island. I would wake up like 5 a.m. and go just to see the ocean and the sun, sunrise, like, that thing was like the best Airbnb I ever had. That was like three years ago. Amazing stuff. I would love to come back there, honestly. Um, that was super nice. And we had like a, like a backyard with all those like coqui frogs, which are like just singing all night. It's kind of annoying, but you get used to it. Uh, and just like the, the lush rainforest jungle Late rainforest slash jungle around the house was amazing. Like palm trees, all those like geckos. Like you would wake up, there's like a gecko uh, sitting on the uh, on the porch. Uh, yeah, that was that was the best vacation of my life, I think. Yeah, I miss those days when you can actually travel safely. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, it was me, my wife, and. That was before my second kiddo was born. Um, yeah, I love this. I love it. I think the house was called like Peace of Paradise or something. It was true. <laughs> it was true. Uh, bidi bidi boom. Wow, they're really reinforcing this, huh? Eh? Oh, this is this is incorrect. Yeah, if you guys ever have the chance to go to Hawaii, like any at in any way, like I know from Europe, it's very expensive. Uh, but you know, I, like if you ever have a chance, just go. I feel so lucky that Hawaii is like one of the closest locations to San Diego by flight. And basically, we if, if, if we can afford it, we can plan vacation, like, every year if you want to. Um, 
so I think we're gonna come back at some point but if you ever wanna if you ever have the chance to go like go yeah oh San Diego has beautiful beaches yes I like our our sand here better than anything in LA is San Diego is the one of the nicest uh, like beach resorts or just beaches um, in SoCal or in California in general it's, it's really nice here, like we have Coronado beaches, we have the Pacific beach, we have La Jolla, which is amazing. I lived in, basically I lived in La Jolla for, for four years. And yeah, San Diego is amazing. Uh, if you want to see like a SoCal city that's like bigger, uh, San Diego is a great place to stay because it's, it's really beautiful overall, but you have all those small beach towns around it by Interstate 5 and the old California 101. And it's like the ultimate so-called California vibe like the, the best thing I love about this place is like I feel like every weekend can be a small vacation if I choose to go to the beach or just hang out uh, outside of the house it's like everything is like within a few miles it's amazing like I would never live in LA I don't really like Los Angeles at all I think it's too crowded and too big too smoggy but San Diego on the other hand is really good to stay it's, it's, it's a really nice place. It's such a contrast to LA, honestly. No wonder people just come from LA here for vacation and stuff. They actually drive here, just stay away from LA. <laughs> that is true. So yeah, we have amazing... My favorite, I think, is, is either La Jolla or Coronado beaches. Um, just, just great overall, you know. It's like, a, it's like a vacation resort at every step of the way. Especially Coronado, I think. Okay, next bag is done. We're, we're making some progress. Yo, yo, yo. I was dreaming to go to Hawaii when I was living in Poland. It was never possible because of the cost and, and distance. And when I when I know when I knew I was moving to San Diego, I, I I said like the first place we're gonna go for vacation from San Diego is Hawaii because this is the closest you can possibly get by by plane. And yeah, and we're gonna go again probably maybe this year or next year we'll see. Okay, <laughs> bag thirteen. We got. The lucky 13 we got this I I have a good mood so let's not destroy it let's not kill the good vibes stick up oh, whoopsie too too fast sticker time yeah <laughs> I'm already excited for the despair. How many pieces do I think the daily bugger will be? I don't know, 2,000? I don't know, honestly. Um, Punisher, Daredevil and the Black Cat are all being rumored to for the daily bugger, so 18 plus set justified for once. Really? They're making Punisher in LEGO? I mean, he was made in the past, right? Um, Daredevil too, yeah. Make sure they're straight and double free. Um, yeah, I mean, they're not as big as the UCS sticker, but still, right? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I, I'm, I'm positive. I'm optimistic about this. I am certainly optimistic. My mood was shattered for a while with putting on those stickers. <laughs> really, is it that bad? That's interesting. That is interesting, for sure. For sure. Oh wait, I gotta... Because there are... There are silver one by ones and there are gray one by ones. So I think Manuel wants me to use silvers now. Uh, sorry, uh, grays. 
I hope. Yeah. So there are silver and gray ones. So usually the manual tells you like there's a little like blink of light showing that it's a silver element. Because obviously you can show silver in the manual. They suck. No dust? Really? Oh my god, like do I have to like wear some NASA grade like suit and go to like a environmentally controlled chamber to apply them or what is it? Do I have to follow the procedures they use for the real shuttle assembly to build this, to, to apply those stickers? What's going on here you guys? Do I need to be like decontaminated or something? Yeah, they have like a glint. Yeah, the, a glint is the word. I was like this little like thing that like there's like a little um, added effect in the manual. Is that called glint? Me not English, me not speak America, I'm sorry. Clean room, yeah, like a COVID free. <laughs> Oh wow, a printed cheese piece, that's unusual. I like it, I like it. Quite unique. Those stickers scare me. <laughs> it's like that meme. It's kinda cool, huh? It's, it's not very often I see printed um, one by one cheeses. I don't think I ever even seen one before. Huh. Well, Lego keeps surprising me. I'm looking at the amount of small pieces I'm still going to have to go through and I don't know, we might need to do like a part four stream tonight or something cause um, I, I want to take my kids to the pool um, today, so I I I I I would like to say it um, before I. <laughs> I mean, I, I think we're gonna do a part four. That's what I'm trying to say, uh, because this is a lot of still like there are like four bags left. I think a lot of small pieces remaining. And it's almost past, it's almost like 3.30 p.m. And I still wanna go to the pool, take my kids uh, and catch some sun. And I promised them I we would do it. So that means I won't be probably streaming continuously. So we might just do like maybe one more bag and so, and and maybe come back for like a no more, more normal cool factor evening stream. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just wanna like, I'm, I'm dedicated to finishing this thing today. <laughs> but man, it's a lot of detail actually, surprisingly enough. Oh, I think that's the word, I'm not sure, not the native speaker either. Okay, let's just agree it's called glint. Uh, speaking of printed cheese slopes, the cat from the Looney Tunes CMFs has three printed cheese slopes with an actual cheese print on them. Hmm. So Lego is expanding the ways. They um, they print stuff. And again, I'm not saying or denying that I may have seen more about Looney Tunes than you guys did. But that's just me saying yes or no. But you should probably find out soon enough. America is luckier the hot weather. It's just California and southern states. We like America as a, as a country. We get we have a lot of cold states too, obviously. You know I'm 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 biased here because I live in in southern California, which gets you know, 97% of year is sunny. Um, and that's why so many people move here. But you know, I have friends in states that have much more normal weather, uh, which is just seasons, actually. Like, we don't really have seasons in California. 
You only notice that it's winter when it just gets slightly colder and a just a bit more rainy. But like, like as of like when spring began officially, like, like end of March, um, we basically jumped right to summer. <laughs> That's it. Like there is no spring, just summer. It just gets warm and nice, and you can go swim in the ocean. That's it. That's your California weather. You have like summer, 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 like early spring in, in place of winter, and then summer. That's that's how it goes. Uh, and I, I come from Poland, which we have solid seasons in Poland, right? So I know how different it can be. That's why I enjoy it here so much, actually. Um, because most of the year is just, you know, you miss a day of sun, there is another one coming the next day and you, you never have this anxiety like, I gotta use this weather because it's not gonna be sunny like in Poland, you like have like a one day, like one week of nice weather, like, it's summer, we gotta go summer, we gotta use the sun as much as we can. Whereas in California, you're just, oh, a sunny day, cool, uh, there's gonna be another one tomorrow, if not, there's gonna be another one two days from now and you know, it, it just like makes you a bit, a bit spoiled. You forget how seasons look like. And I had this like, like, I was even like, it. I was even feeling like it could rain, maybe for a, for a week, I, I would mind. But it was sunny and sunny and sunny, so you kind of get, get used to it. Um, yeah. Our, our state for summer weather until two days later it snowed. 38 likes, thank you guys. Hey Spencer, welcome back. All right, trying to catch up with the chat. What am I building actually? What is this? Details, that's what it is. So yeah, like, like me saying like, oh, I can go to the pool today and like have some outdoor swimming. It's not something I would ever imagine saying back in Poland, like in early April. I remember when like Easter, Easter is actually this weekend, right? And I remember specifically one Easter in Poland, I would go out on the, the Good Friday, like today. And my car was basically covered under like five feet of snow. So... I remember how crazy it was to have actual seasons. Yeah, I think it's the cockpit, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. No, it's it's not the cockpit, it's the, the divider wall. Yeah, you get it here. Okay, some extra details for... That's cool. Did you know again? Oh boy, another really nice. Oh, that's the Canada arm. I think we're building the, the Canada arm. The, the, the robotic arm that operates the, the cargo. Eight degrees, but Israel twenty four degrees. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah, that's the payload section. Mm -hmm. Still need. So I'm gonna read that fun fact in a sec. Oh. That's, no, that's something, that's the Q, Q band antenna. The Q band antenna is deployed in orbit and allows the crew of the shuttle to send and receive communications from Earth. So is that the, okay, so that's the Q, that's the actual antenna for communications. Uh, that is cool. Like all the, it's right on the back of the shuttle. It's like an actual antenna. 
there we go goes right here this is a simple assembly yeah right there boom uh, and the other thing is also or maybe that's or maybe that's this I don't know the, the, the suction cup cool they added all the cool equipment Um, okay, we got it. Can't wait for my shuttle to be shipped, or maybe you should say launched. <laughs> Do I use Streamlabs? Yes, actually, yes. I use uh, Streamlabs for all the uh, you know, super chat uh, messages, um, like all the like the tr tracking of, of, of members, like this thing on the screen right here is Streamlabs. Um, yeah, the, the the view counter at the top, like we have 36 viewers. Thank you, by the way. Uh, that's Streamlabs, and I use Streamlabs OBS as my software, so it's like a kind of like a upgraded. Um, Upgraded OBS, which is integrated with with Streamlabs alerts and all that stuff, so it's easier to use. Yeah, it's been working great for me so far. Actually, ooh, Canada arm, yes. Canada arm. So we're assembling this. Nice. I think that that is the most detailed bag in the whole thing. It takes forever to finish, but like the last bag was quick, but this thing is. Yeah, I can, I can recommend Streamlabs for anything. You can use the normal OBS, but Streamlabs has, you know, much better functionality. And it's integrated better with just their alert system and customization options and all this cool stuff. So yeah, works for me pretty well. Works for me. Okay. Well, this thing is going to be pretty long. <clears throat> Streamlabs over StreamYards? Um, StreamYard is is a great platform for quick like, you know, like streams or calls. Uh, so you can add multiple people. Uh, so StreamYard and Streamlabs are two different things entirely. Streamlabs is used when you have like a more professional setup like I have. Uh, when you want to customize your stream and you're streaming mostly alone and uh, it's not just you just you need much more than your webcam or your connected camera. So that's stream labs OBS, which is just for all the Twitch streamers, big, big stuff. So StreamYard is an online based uh, platform that you can connect multiple cameras to a host. And that's how everybody makes those Lego panels right now. Like all those talks like Cy O'Connor or London Bridge Bricks, they all use StreamYard, which is like it's simple because you don't use any extra software and you just connect and anybody with a webcam can join you uh, and it's just the way i use that work too uh, because it's just a simple platform for quick streams it's so it's 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 like simplified it doesn't have nearly as many tools as your obs it, it's it's for simple like you know no frills streaming pretty much uh, that's all it is um, yeah, stream, I use stream at work, like we do like online podcasts or stuff like that. Uh, if you want to get a guest on, StreamYard is just a very quick way to do it. It's like everybody can use it, like it's user friendly. 
no configuration needed almost you just need to set up your camera and that's it pretty much uh, that's why so many people use because it's simple uh, where did you get those trays uh, random home decor store Ross in the US they were just on the shelf and I like them <laughs> so you can buy something similar in Ama on Amazon Trays are really good for building, honestly. I do enjoy them. Yes, Trivia, like if you, it's, it's usually like the, the basic version is free. Uh, and that's why it's so awesome. Ooh. So you have the Canada arm. Did you know? <laughs> Again, the Shuttle's remote manipulator system. I call it Canada arm because that's how they call the, the same arm on the ISS right now. But it's officially called the Shuttle Remote Manipulator System, RMS, RMS, was used by astronauts inside to deploy them ma ma and maneuver cargo in the payload, um, payload bay and astronauts during spacewalk. So people were connected to this thing and were just... Oh, okay. So this is the antenna. This is just Canada arm, like RMS system holder. That's all it is. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, we're adding those those like cameras to control stuff. That's awesome. Oh yeah, so those are the silver pieces. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, yeah. Why does everyone call it Canada arm? Because it's made in. By Canadians? <laughs> what is it? So is that the exact same thing they use on the ISS right now? Because like when they um, when they were docking the when they are docking capsules to ISS, they have to like before Dragon. So SpaceX Dragon is is a uh, it can dock remotely, like autonomously. Before that, they had to like reach out uh, from the station with the Canada arm and grab it and pull it back to the, to the dock. But as of last few missions, uh, the, the uh, Dragon spacecraft does it on, on its own. So it can automatically dock without the, the need to, to bring, it, bring it in, which is really cool. Like they just use like navigation system and, and laser like rangefinders and all that stuff. That's cool. Looney Tunes CMFs located in Canada today. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's... <sighs> Lego and their leaks and they're, they're blaming us for leaking stuff. Come on. That's crazy. Welcome, Peyton, by the way. Thanks for coming. Oh, so there's a camera like inside of it? Whoa, that's so cool. So there's cameras on the corners and there's camera inside the arm. Wow, that is, that is sweet, by the way. Yeah. We get those. Those cameras. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, all the detailing, I like it so far. Boom, boom, boom. <gasps> the stickers commence in this step. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not sure if I'm happy or just terrified. New pieces, let's go. Okay, let's see how, how difficult they are. I, I think just because of the angle. Oh boy, all right, here comes nothing.
I'm gonna start with the big one. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's see how difficult they are. Should I start from this side or from this side? Like I gotta, it's gonna, it's gonna be, I have to do it a few times, so. Maybe this side. I gotta find a system. And I messed up already. Yeah, I see I see the problem. So the bubbles can be captured. There's an air bubble there already. So I see I see what I what I have to be careful. Um because I got a little Yeah, I captured an air bubble in there. I, I know like you gotta be very slow. Yeah, that air bubble is not going out, out is it? Already oh, first one try and already an air bubble. So I see I see like I, I, I was too quick. I mean I, I did align it pretty well. But the, that air bubble is killing me right now. Let's see if I can. No. I don't want to damage it. I don't know. Okay, so the first one has some air bubble, which is not ideal. But you know, nervous. Should I should I turn off the cameras? Uh, we can do that. There you go, guys. Okay, ready? Okay, see ya. I'm still here, but you can't see anything. There's it's 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 on purpose. Hey, how's it going? It's like the dark building experience, you know. No, just kidding. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't want to build anxiety in my audience, you know. Yeah, I can see why they're kind of annoying. Oh. Because it's 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 hard to. Yeah, it's hard to align because it's canted. Uh, I mean, curved. But if I go real slow, well, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. And I'm, I'm just gonna use my my microfiber for my. I use them for my glass to just get the fingerprints. It's like one of those like restaurants when you like eat in the dark and they just bring food to you and feed you. <laughs> it's like you don't see the amazingness happening in front of your eyes because it's so dark yes I, I will panic you know the annoying part is because it has the edges and like you gotta you don't see what, what you're doing kind of but I got this I mean they're not gonna be perfect. I, I have this air bubble already, the first one. But the sides are okay. Use brick separator? I think I'm, I will. I think I will. Yeah, I think it's easier. Because the, the fingers just get in the way. I, I know what you're saying. Yeah, but this air bubble, I messed it up already. Yeah. Pretty reflective, huh? Alright. First one to go. How many? Oh my god, so much left. Oh my god. Oh, there's another one coming in. Oh boy. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. My mood is not destroyed yet, so we're good. We are perfect. Let's see. I'm gonna buy by the last one. I'm gonna have it mastered. So, how about we, we use a brick separator this time? Oh boy. I think the key is to align with the corner first to like to get the leading um, yeah it's kind of I mean I like things like that because it makes you focused but maybe from this side no I wanna start with the deeper side I think it's oh boy yeah like once you get the corner right you're good, but you gotta get that corner right. 
Okay. <laughs> it's 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 harder than I thought. What? Okay, maybe I'm gonna move the bricks up right over here and start. Yeah, because it's 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 because it's curved, it, it captures the other side at the same time. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of you guys seem to have like have the same feelings about this. Cause yeah. You know what? There must be a way. There must be a way. So what if I do this this way? Like get the maybe like oh maybe that's the way. Maybe just get this side first. No, it's no no no. It, there's a there's a chance I'm gonna actually count it by accident. Oh boy, maybe this side. Or maybe that's good, because I have more access to it from this side. So apply first corner. Okay, good. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this way. Okay. So apply corner. Hey, this is good, actually. Okay, I found a way. So you apply one corner, put the brick separator under. Life always finds a way. Yeah. You yeah, remove the extra... Oh snap, I think I'm actually scratching them with the fiber cloth. Well, how is that possible? This is like the softest cloth I have. So nervous. <laughs> Maybe you guys should come back, like later. Hold it flat against the desk. Maybe. Okay, the big one. No, I, I like to hold the piece in my hand so I, I, I have more control over it. Um, you just gotta get the corner right and then just like apply slight pressure to like release all the air from under. I gotta get that corner right, that's all I need. Because like the reflections are kind of like misleading. Cause you, oh, oh, okay, this is good, this is good. Slowly. No air bubbles. Slowly. So, and I have to remove the brick separator now. Okay. See, this one is perfect. I'm gonna, I'm so proud of this one. I am so proud. I am so proud. Little, little polish. What are we having today, sir? Would you like a drink? Okay. I, I hate the first one with the bubble, but I'm gonna maybe fix it later or something. Maybe like use a needle to like punch through it and release the air, just like a tiny little hole. All right, man, this takes forever. Oh my God, this... No, no, no dust, no dust. This really takes forever. Whew. It's only two down and I have so many to go. It's kind of insane. I wish I didn't do it on the stream, honestly. It's, it, it brings anxiety. A bit. Okay. So the, the, the idea is to like make it a bit more stable by holding this this, this way. No, my, I, I'm creating my own shadow. Just catch the corner, dude. Catch the corner. Oh. Get the corner right and everything is just fine. Oh, snap. <laughs> I moved my hand. Okay. Focus. Focus, Mike. This is great. Great content, you guys. This is just... Uh, oh, 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 I got, I got it, I got it, I got it. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna apply some pressure. Align it with the, everything else. This is good, this is good. Okay. Yeah, this one is all right. Okay. Woo! Okay, not too bad. So far, so good, but... Yeah, the stickers, like, man, these are truly challenging. Uh, actually, they are. 
Um, they are. I'm not gonna lie, they are challenging to get right. Use the force, I wish. All right. I think that's the first of the panels. Can I get some, can I get some hype in the chat for going through the first one without throwing the whole thing off the table or through the window? <laughs> I, need to, I need your support, you guys. They get a little easier because you you're practicing. Obviously, if you practice, everything gets easier. You just gotta practice. Oh, wait. That is, oh, okay. So this goes here. Okay, pretty clever. One down, three to go. I like how 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 solid this this um, the system is here. There is a small gap, however, though. All right, keep it up. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, everybody has to go through this. Everybody that gets this set has to go through this. So I'm good. <laughs> I'm suffering together with you guys, so that makes me very motivated. Mutual suffering always motivates people, you know. Only three assemblies left, yes. But yeah, I think I, I got it right. I know how to hold them. I wanna start, I wanna tackle the large ones first because they're the most difficult. Uh, so I apply, yeah, I put it like at the edge of the brick separator. And then what I do, I put my fingers under so it's more stable. And I try to catch the corner. Catch the corner. Hashtag catch the corner. So like, see that deeper corner? Like once you get that right, like centered, everything else is a breeze. You need a system. This is the most like focus driven part. Channel your force, Mike, your inner energy. See, there, there you go, boom. Capture the corner. Put the finger here, I'm gonna smudge, the, remove the smudges later, then slowly apply. And once you get, like you check, no, no air, no, no air bubbles, remove, apply. Ah, this one's slightly canted, but I can remove that. Ah. The problem is like you, you have one shot. I think they are super hard to remove. They are super hard to remove without damaging them. Jedi Master skill up like uh, <laughs> sticker application. Yes. So yeah, this one is slightly. I'm not happy with this one, but because the reflections really like mislead you, because you think you're you're straight, but you don't see the edge. Okay, I gotta gotta hold it this way. Get the corner, just like that. No, 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 correction, correction. We're gonna be here for a while, you guys. Uh, okay. I gotta, like, I gotta ignore the reflections and look at the edge of the sticker because otherwise you'll see that you're, you're counting. So this one is perfect, but this one is slightly kind of, I mean, you don't see that that much. It's it's okay. No air bubbles, though. Mike is the one with the force, and the force is one with him. Yes. I might just skip this part. I can see people skipping this because honestly, this would work great for any mocks, for example, for for mirrors, great mirror. The cool thing is that you get extra on the sides that you can use for, for mirrors, for mocks. This is like a lot of good silver stickers. So keep your keep your sticker sets after this set because these are very useful uh, for anything else. Like the edges. You get extra 
I'm going all in, no brick separator this time. Let's see if it works. Okay. Hey, that's, that's pretty good. I'm getting good at this. Practice. All right, good. Good, good, good. All right, two of these. Another one, another one. Let's see if I get the large one. Yeah, that's why I'm using the fi microfiber cloth right after because I can remove all the smudges and I'm never ever touching these stickers again. Oh boy. Get the corner. I got the corner. I We have the corner, everybody. We got the corner. Oh, this one is actually great. Oh my God, I'm so good at this one. Yo, th this is for me. Yo. Thank you, all you uh, 29 people in the in the audience. Yeah, this is like a microfiber cloth for glasses, so it should not damage them at all, technically. Bravo, encore, encore. Yes, there is an encore for the next four panels. <laughs> all right, this is truly no, it's seriously challenging. I, I had to touch it because, actually, yeah, there, there, was, there was some air in there, but I got rid of it on the edge. On the edge, there was some air on the edge, but it's good now. Yeah, hypey, hypey, hype, hype, hype. <laughs> Nathan, thank you, Zaroga. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the most. This is the most nerve-wracking, but not the most exciting part of the stream. I'm so sorry. But this is not on me, it's on LEGO for giving us this amazing opportunity of applying a bunch of very large, very shiny stickers onto a very unusually shaped piece. Okay, we got the corner. Perfect. Okay, good. This was good. Actually, this is a good practice to like um, use the, the fi microfiber cloth to just make sure they have a good catch at the end. Good, 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 good. I'm happy with the results so far. I think one, one, has, one has air bubbles, one has a bit of a offset application, but nobody's gonna look inside anyway, come on. You really stuck the landing. Yeah, I think my technique is solid, guys. So, brick separator, two fingers, hold the sticker straight, catch the corner, align it with the, the edge. I think that's like it, it takes a few few practice runs, but once you do it, yeah, just get it in there, let the glue do its thing. Oh my god. Yeah, so this one is fighting me. So you can move your fingers just a bit. Okay, sorry, I, I'm creating my own shadow right now. Uh, get the, come on, come on. You can do it, I believe in you. Catch it. Catch the corner. This one is like kind of, it's, it's, it's this one is, is fighting me. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got the corner. Apply, apply pressure, remove the separator, boom. Woo! I feel like I'm building the real space shuttle. <laughs> the pressure is in intense. Very nice. What do you guys think? Pretty solid. Can I have my own reflection in this? <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm happy with this one. Right on. Lego can pre-apply stickers, but where's the fun then? <laughs> I 
Am I right? No, honestly, like, if they can do it for Mario, they should just leave it here or just paint it or print whatever. They could have made it easier for us, that's for sure. But then where's the fun? Where's that immense stress? All right. There's a trivia fact in there. This is like twice as stressful on a stream, honestly, because I'm, I'm, you guys are watching me do it. It's kind of scary. Um, did you know the 60 foot long uh, or 18 meter long payload, bay doors are always opened to activate radiators for cooling the shuttle after it, was, it has reached orbit. Interesting, I didn't know that. So that's why they're deflected. Okay, you know what, might as well go and just apply everything at once and then assemble them, honestly, because uh, let's make it a batch, by batch, so it's just more practical to do it because you get accustomed to it and you just do it faster. Has LEGO ever added painted detail? What do you mean? Like, not, like painted, non-printed. Okay, we got it. We have the corner, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy, that was, that, this one, yeah, this one's quick. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get all the large ones first. It's 4 p.m., you know, guys, I, I don't think I'm gonna finish in this one go. I think we're gonna come back for an evening stream tonight. Cause it's getting late. I, I, I still want to catch some sun. And just, I didn't know this, this thing takes so much time. So we're gonna apply the stickers and then I'm going, I'm going for some relaxation walk <laughs> or, or some swimming, honestly. I'm gonna need that after that. And whiskey on the rocks on top of that. Get, come on, get this corner. You, you can do it. Get the corner. Oh boy. Yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm holding this wrong. Actually, too much pressure. So just slide it in. No, like. This is intense. No, 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 that was, that was, that was not good, not good. So we're gonna do a part four. I think I can say that's official because it's getting late in the day. I've been streaming most of the day, and I will either come back tonight or honestly tomorrow. I don't know, but I think tonight is still doable. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. The suspense, the pressure, yes. I just wanna get, I just wanna get through the big ones. Tackle the most difficult parts first, guys. That's like the number one rule. Work, life, anything, get the most difficult things done first. And the, the, for this case, the large ones are the craziest. And got the corner. See, look, look at that. Like once, once I get it, boom, quicker. Told you. Yeah, we'll see. Cause I, I, I don't want to like spend whole day. You know, I love building Lego, but I feel like the day is kind of escaping me in terms of like sitting in the in the house when there's like a beautiful sun outside, and I, I'm gonna need a break after this anyway, probably. Um. So. I think we're gonna finish this bag and do a part four either tonight or tomorrow. We'll see. But I, actually, I might just take a weekend 
like for myself we'll see we shall see because this feels like work <laughs> boom that's the last of them the last of the large ones there we go perfect dude i'm so good at this check this out isn't that glorious it's glorious now for the small ones let's do it in one go would like the stickers have fun thanks man tobias appreciate it uh yeah we're gonna finish this one and this takes longer than expected i i still want to cut some sun outside so remember guys when i talked about yesterday priorities is your well-being and i need some sun right now that's the whole shtick Okay, we got this, I think, yeah, we got it, very good, see, told you, like, do it in a batch, it's gonna go faster, like, that's my advice for anybody who gets this set, do it in a batch, just do them, like, do the big ones, then do the small ones, and assemble after, I think that's the best way to go. Just add all the stickers at once so you're pra you're practicing your muscle memory and it just becomes quicker and easier see look at that like i i know the exact movement i have to make right now uh with the brick separator and it's just muscle memory at this point practice it's like a it's like those nurses doing the vaccines and mass. After the, you know, 20 vaccines, you just boom, 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 boom. That's why they're doing so quickly in California. Because every nurse is like a master injector. Because it's like practice, boom, 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 you know, massive. Oh yeah, that's gonna look excellent on display, obviously. Honestly, I cannot wait to film the review because I think it, this thing's gonna look so good in the camera. 4K, all that stuff, you know. I'm gonna have fun filming it. Filming it. No, oh, come on. This one is fighting me. For some reason. Okay, got it. Perfect. Boom! Swift moves. Don't don't hesitate. Don't think too much about it. Just apply and move move to the next one. Quick, quick, quick. Quickie mac quicker son. Come on. Give me that corner. Boom. The moment I see it, I just apply. Like I see the corner, it's hitting the right angle, boom. See? Quick. Practice, baby. Okay. Yeah, whoever was in the chat saying like they get quicker the longer you do it, yes, because you are just practicing. It's like something that, that is new becomes more common. It's like with editing. When you learn how to edit and you repeat, rinse and repeat, and you get really good at it, uh, people say like, how are you so fast at this? Like, I don't get what you're doing. Yeah, because I practiced. Good written, yes. Impressive, most impressive. Yeah, once you get the rhythm, I think the rhythm is important. Like anything, honestly, any repetitive action. <laughs> Look, this one has a little debris. Uh, or dust um any repetitive action once you get the rhythm going you can be really good at this as long as you don't stop uh, okay this one's like this one's like an a tenth of a degree off but the last one i'm bold without the brick separator let's go Oh, 
Oh boy. Focus, Mike. The last one. Come on, make it perfect. Even though yesterday we talked there is no perfection. But this one is actually perfect. Holy smokes. Okay. Woo! I never wanted to press a button in my life so bad as right now. <sighs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> All right, we gotta assemble this thing. So we just, yeah, stickers are done, you peeps. Whew. Lord have mercy. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. It's like, I would like to thank my mom, and I'd like to thank my dad. I would like to thank my dog, and my siblings, and my grandpa, who supported me through the whole way. And I would like to thank my chat for being an awesome bunch of people, supporting me through the most boring and most stressful part of the build. Thank you, guys. This statue of sticker applicator goes to... This guy. Thirty minutes, world record, like the longest or the quickest? <laughs> Which one is it? Are you say are you saying people spend longer on this or just are quicker than me? I think people are quicker than me, actually. <laughs> I think I took I took my time, actually. I don't think you can do it. I think you can do it faster. Uh, I guess. Okay. And the last one, I think is the mirror. Yes, so it's gotta be the, the previous one. Yeah, cause the, the mount is different. Uh, it's a mirror. Took at least an hour? Wow. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, they're difficult, okay? I just happen to be good at repetition, uh, I guess. When, once, I get, when I, once I get a system in place, uh, and I figure out how to do things like repetitively, repetitively quickly, um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I know like I can be pretty quick. Like editing example, like when I get a system for some edit that is repetitive, I can cut it pretty quick if I know what I'm doing. For example, like, or anything like, if you have some relative action, just, I, I tend to spend more time on finding out a system and then applying the system. So I'd rather spend extra moment on getting the system right than, um, than just like spending time to, to figure it out later. You know? And we are missing, don't, oh, are you kidding me? Why am I missing a blue pin? Did I not? Oh, there it is. Oof, I was scared for a sec. I was outside of the tray. Oh, don't, 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 stop, stop, stop. Don't you dare. Yeah, systems are good. Like, overall, over, like, it's better, like, have you know, extra time doing a preparation. And then if you know something is gonna be repetitive, then just like figure it out first and then, and then move, move on. Okay. Good. This is good. Yes. I'm probably gonna use the, the microfiber later to like make them even cleaner, but so far so good. Okay. Shuttle bay doors. Our donzies. Now we can connect them. Perfect. How many bags left? 
I think three larger bags left, but I'm not gonna sit through them right away. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna actually have to split that into the part four. Um, Oh, look, more stickers, the NASA logo and all that stuff. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beautiful. So it's taking shape. Wow. Um, almost the most of the bucks stuff is done like yeah i mean not okay oh nice yeah there's a little bit of a gap just for the sheer pressure but i think it's just like a matter of making sure all the bricks are pushed in cool and we have yeah we have two more stickers the nasa worm the nasa worm so this one just goes yeah this one after all that craziness this one is easy just right here just like that yeah Okay, this one is easy. This is like, I'm never gonna complain about stickers ever again. After this craziness. So I'm gonna flip it, it's much easier, use the other hand. Okay. Boom, this is good. Okay, yeah. There it is. Starting to look like a shuttle, am I right? Very cool. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for bag number, the lucky 13. We have, I think, three bags left, but I'm gonna finish. Guys, I, I actually, like, it take, takes so much time. It's 4 p.m. Uh, I, I gotta get for a, go for a walk, take the kids outside, you know. Um, so, we're gonna return to regular programming. Um, this is how it looks like, by the way, from this angle. Beautiful. So it's not like a more like a less top down, more like a natural angle. There we go. Um, yeah, we shall return. I'm not sure. I so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call my wife, see how she's doing. Um, take the kids for a walk. You know, go for some swimming session, probably something, something, something. Um, and I will either come back either today afternoon, like later, um, or tomorrow, maybe early. Maybe we're going to do like an early Saturday stream. Who knows? I'll let you know guys. Uh, but I, I, I wanted to finish this in a, in a three parter. Um, I'm going to actually switch to this. Uh, I wanted to finish this in a three parter, but I, uh, I, I wasn't prepared that that did take so much time i thought i would be done by by now right i thought i would be done by 5 p.m and it's 4 20 p.m uh and we still have we still have like 70 pages left so yeah um yeah part four is coming so uh you guys also take a break thank you so much for hanging out for uh, coming over i do appreciate you guys thank you for the uh, some crazy support uh, right now in this stream trench uh, dropped a 50 super chat we got some members joining so thank you for that appreciate it uh and yeah we'll see you in part four um most likely I, i'll see if i if i feel like streaming like late night or tonight but there's a chance i'm gonna do like a saturday morning stream or something so we might start tomorrow actually like 10 a.m or something uh, i'll let you know all right we good we good we good everybody good cool Vote tomorrow? Sure. Uh, I might do actual tomorrow because maybe I, I'm gonna take just this Friday evening off to watch, you know, Winter Soldier uh, and um, Falcon. And, and chill. And then wake up tomorrow, do a quickie stream with, uh, with three bags. And then we're gonna see each other on Bricks and Coffee on Sunday anyway. Right? Okay, guys. Love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. You're awesome. 
Uh, see you in part four uh, and keep an eye on my socials, keep an eye on my YouTube channel to, uh, to know when, when it's scheduled. All right? Peace out. Love you guys. This thing is almost done. I can wait. One thing I can do before I go is like, let's put it on the stand. Why not? Because that's basically how it's going to live. I'm going to give it... Uh, come on. Oh, there we go. Starting to look great, am I right? So the cone will like, this is the landing gear, so the cone will end like somewhere here. So this is how it's gonna, how big it's gonna be, plus the vertical, beautiful. I mean, I mean, come on, come on, it's so great. Oh my God, I already, already love it. Even before we get to the cockpit and all these cool parts. Right on, okay, peace out guys, love you all. Talk to you soon. See you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.